ladies and gentlemen, let me take a minute to uh, thank some sponsors for this evening. It takes a lot of work to get these shows on, obviously. First of all, we've got Piccadilly Whip Ice Cream, which I've heard is pretty good. If you like your ice cream, that's Piccadilly Whip. And we've got Coors Molson Lager. Also, I'm not sure if you can get out of the bar. They're also a sponsor for tonight. And we also have KT MMA, and we'll go into that a little bit later because we've got a KT MMA show here today as well, okay? Okay, straight on to our fourth bout of the evening. In the blue corner, fighting out of the junk boat MMA team, we have Rob Cook. <laughs> Okay, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He is representing the Able League Kickboxing Academy. Adam Flowers! Here we go then, first of three, fighting out of the blue corner. We have Rob Cook from the Junk Folk Gym, and out of the red corner, Adam Flower from the Avery Kickboxing. Amateur K1 this. Not sure on any of these uh, fighters' records. Good work here from the Avery fighter. Taking a straight jab there for his troubles. Obviously, um, Rob Cook there probably has a bit of a shoulder injury. Not, for, not sure he's worn this before. Yeah, they haven't started too fast, these boys. Flowers just taking a couple of shots to the head there. Got to get his hands up. Nice knee there from Cook. Yeah, corner, corners are shouting to uh, Adam Flowers to get his uh, hands up. Tape coming undone there on the uh, chin guards there of Cook. Well into this first round now. Well, sensible pace for both these fighters to start at. Very hot in here this evening. Nice work from Flowers. Not affected though, is Cook. Got to get his hands up as Flowers taking shots there. Took every right on the end of that.
Here we go then, second of three. Not a lot between the two fighters in that first round. Yeah, he's taking shots there. Uh, Adam Flowers got to get their man's up. Looks pretty confident uh, does uh, Rob Cook. Taking another shot there, Adam Flowers. Well, he's landing kicks, but taking punches in reply as Flowers. Uh, referee called a halt there, holding the legs. Yeah, he's warning for holding. Got to get his hands up. Well into this second of three now. Oh, a couple of stiff jabs. Nose damage, I think, for Flowers as well. Oh, in actual fact, I think they've both got a bit of blood coming from their noses. Like to see the legs more. Closing stages now, the second of three. Nice stiff jab there from Cook. Well, pace dropping dramatically there for both fighters at the end of that second. Here we go, the third and final round. Been an absolute war this one, Steve, eh? Well, I'm not sure, Danny, which, uh, which way the judges are seeing it. Obviously, the better work coming from uh, the blue corner and Cook. He's still in it, though. Uh, oh. It's Adam Flowers. Got to keep his hands tight. He is walking on the shots. Both guys bleeding through the noses, Steve. <laughs> yeah, well, only no... Oh, big right there from... Uh, both guys getting caught on the way out, if you notice, through this fight. Well, they're both tied in there, and it's not not been a fast pace by any means, but uh, very the hot shots have been hard. There's been some heavy hits yeah, in there, haven't there, Steve? Yeah, they both ship punishment, that's for sure. Not our core technical fight, Steve, but fantastic uh, power gun in. They mean every shot, don't they? Well, it's amateurs at the end of the day. You know, this is where they're learning it all. Big shots again coming in from Cook. He's got good hands, hasn't he? He's using his feet well as well. Yeah, Rob Cook definitely got good hands. I know he dislocates his shoulder a lot, which is why he's got that strap on, Steve. Yeah, I gather that. I do gather that, Danny. But it doesn't stop him throwing mean right hands, does it? Adam Flowers, fantastic low kicks as well. And I'm sure the K1 judges will be scoring them. But he is walking on the shots, Danny, he is walking on the shots. Yep, he needs to block those low kicks. There is no guard here at all, Steve. These well, guys are just going to whack each other's heads up to the end of the fight, I think. Yeah, it looks like they're both leading with their heads, Danny. But uh, we're well into this third and final round now. There's yep. blood everywhere. Well, both fighters feeling the... Feeling the pace here. You just feel one good shot could drop either man. And he can hardly lift his hands up. Cook. Steve, I don't <laughs> even want to ask you who's won that fight. It was such a war.
and gentlemen, when there's blood all over the ring, all over their faces. That means that was one hell of a fight. A fighter in the blue corner, Rob Cook, actually dislocated his shoulder again with the last punch of the fight. But we're not going to let him out of the ring just yet. We're going to get a decision. Okay, after three rounds, your ISKA officials have come to a unanimous decision. And it goes in favour of the blue corner, Rob Cook. Once again, two fighters came to the ring today. Can we have a big, big